We're here at ITU Telecom World 2013 in Bangkok, Thailand, and I've got the great pleasure of being joined by Mr. Fred Samuel, who is Chief Information Officer for the Prime Minister's Office for the Government of the Republic of Vanuatu, and Mr. Ron Box, who is a regulator for the Republic of Vanuatu. Gentlemen, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you. I'd like to start off by talking about this year's events theme is embracing change in a digital world. Where do you see the biggest opportunities for change in the, for the industry and uh, for society? And I'd like to start off by asking you that question, Fred. Well, coming from a small island state, I would say education, health and farmers in the rural areas, obviously, is one of our major challenges. Eh? I think you know, the changes bring enormous amount of inf uh, opportunities to actually help facilitate delivery for education helping students to become more literate, but also assisting to develop the quality of teaching in those remote areas. Eh? Secondly, it's about health. You know, the, I can see huge amount of opportunity to help the administration of health facilities in the rural areas, but secondly also is to utilizing the new technologies to help to deliver health services in rural areas. And thirdly, especially for the farmers, I see great opportunities. The landscape, the transition we're going, getting, going through right now, I think there's a tremendous amount of opportunities available where ICT can help farmers in the rural areas of Vanuatu. And what about from a regulator's perspective, Ron? How do you, how do you see these, these changes? Well, I think we've got the exciting opportunity to be part of it. And I think the regulatory role has changed dramatically. And we've, we've had that validated here that we're heading in the right direction. We educate our children, we go to the children, we go to the schools, we get through to the community, it lifts the ICT value, the ICT is the enabler for them to grow as well. And as part of that regulatory environment when I first started, which was telecom only, it's ICTs, education and the benefits that then Fred said, moving on to health and produce as well. I mean, Ron, there's plenty of opportunities here, but uh, what about the challenges? The challenges, the one thing that I think has really been pointed out here, we're, we're in a, such an exponential growth stage that we have a gap, as Fred said. We're a Pacific Island state. Pacific Island states have unique challenges. So we have a digital divide now. The frightening element is that the divide gets worse. So what we need to do is make sure that that gap is bridged and bridged significantly because it could get away from us. And Fred, in terms of uh, your perspective, what are the threats here? I, I cannot agree more with Ron. I think, especially for Vanuatu, um, in the urban centres where there's access to proper ICD facilities, and then you have rural areas where they lack these facilities. Even today, as we speak, there's already a gap between quality of teaching in the urban areas and the quality of teaching in the rural areas. And I'm afraid, you know, with the development of ICD, that gap would widen further and further. But the challenge can also be turned into opportunity. That's where the latest technology in the ICD sector can help to bridge that gap. And how is Vanuatu embracing the change then? Well, I'm pleased to say that just three weeks ago, the Council of Ministers just approved three policies. One is the national ICD sector policy. The other one is the cybersecurity policy. And the, the, the third one is the universal access policy. That's the demonstration of the commitment of the Vanuatu government in embracing the chains. We now have a clear roadmap of how can we capitalize on the benefits of ICD to develop the social and economic development of Vanuatu. And Ron, from your perspective? Oh, having courage, number one, and having the stars in alignment, having a government that's committed, having a prime minister that's the minister, having Fred's office, which is my normal reporting route, and across all ministries, and then a firm indication and support of a, for an independent regulator. Fantastic. Now, we're here at ITU Telecom World 2013. Now, I've seen you <laughs> both in a number of places here, but Ron, I'd like to start off by asking you, what's the value of attending such events such as ITU Telecom World? Well, this is my first one, and uh, it, look, it's the place to be. Everyone's here, the PMs, the ministers, the knowledge, the stimulation, we just left a stimulating um, keynote speech before on future of internet. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the place. And Fred? I fully agree with Ron. I think as a small island states, we cannot remain in isolation. We do good things, as Ron just stated, 
But I think it's important also to be mindful of what's happening globally. So for us to come here, it's been very personal. Uh, it's, been, it's been a very great experience. Uh, we're doing a lot of creating, but it's good to come here, meet with the real leaders and shakers of industry, the game changers, see what's happening globally, and co-pact and improve the ICD sector in Vanuatu. Well, gentlemen, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much for your attendance at IT Telecom World, and uh, I wish you the very best with the future in Vanuatu. Thank you, too. Thank you.